All right guys, how's it going? So we're coming back today to do a video that we talked about a while ago that a lot of people were asking about, and that is a speed mods video. We're not gonna go crazy and bore you guys out with all the details about the speed mods, but what we are gonna do is look at them each individually. I believe the last time that I talked about it was in the walk around video that we did a long time ago. So we're gonna get into it a little bit here and talk about the speed mods again. So we're gonna start off by talking about the Lepresti Howl Cow. Um, this is probably one of the most notable changes that you'll see on the plane when comparing it to one of the stock PA32 300s, the Cherokee 6s. All right, so basically the idea with the Howl Cowl is Lepresti wanted to get rid of the big bulky cowling that had a lot of drag from the original PA32 300s. Uh, it had those huge inlets on it. Um, you can look up pictures if you don't know what they looked like. Anyway, the idea was basically they were gonna slim it down, get it tight around the engine, and really optimize aerodynamics and cooling. So that's why they went with the circular inlets, which they found was much better for airflow, much more efficient, and also much more aerodynamic. So that's why we have the circular inlets. Now, if you look at the cowling head-on, what you'll see is it's a lot slimmer. It kind of comes more to a point than the original one. Um, and that helps a lot with aerodynamics. It's um, split down the middle here, so it gets rid of the split on the sides. That doesn't really have a huge effect on aerodynamics at all, but it allowed them to have these doors here, which are nice quick open uh, quarter turn screws to get into the engine to do inspections. It's a little bit more intensive to actually take the cowling off as you have to split it and take the whole thing off. Anyway, so that's the Howl Cow. One other thing actually that that is different is it has a cowl flap. Uh, the original Cherokee models did not have cowl flaps. They didn't need them because cooling was fine in the original cowling. This one, because it's much more tight around the engine, cooling is a little bit more of a concern, um, which is why we have the cowl flap to help optimize airflow throughout the engine. We usually keep that completely open unless we're up, you know, eight, 10,000 feet in cruise, then we'll start to close it in just to kind of tweak with the, um, with the cooling for the engine based off of our cylinder temperatures. So now that we've talked about the Howl Cow a little bit, let's move on and talk about some of the other Lepresti speed mods that we have on the plane. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about here is the big change on the wing tips. If you look at the original Cherokee 6s, you'll see they have those typical Hershey bar rounded wing tips, which are effective, but not super aerodynamic. Dynamic. So what Lepresti did is they moved all of the wingtip um, position lights and the wingtip landing lights, which I actually don't even think were on the original Cherokee wingtip. You can correct me if I'm wrong there. They moved those all in an enclosed airfoil lens here. So there's no light sticking out, no parasitic drag that you'd have off of any of that. It's all aerodynamic in the airfoil itself. And what they did with the airfoil is they created a scooped airfoil and extended the wingtip about eight inches. So what that does is it gives you a little bit better performance and speed, but the most notable thing that you'll see on that is climb performance. As you've seen in a couple of our other videos, we had a video that um, Josh and I went up and flew. We did a no flap takeoff with the two of us and I think, what, 50% fuel on board and we were climbing well over 2,000 feet per minute, no flaps. That's a testament to really how much the the wingtips help the climb rate. And we've seen that at full gross on a hot day, the sting still climbs, you know, at least a thousand feet per minute. I don't think we've ever been below that. So that's the wingtips. Uh, the next thing we'll move on to is the flap gap seals. So let's go over here and take a look at those. So now that we're back here, we can talk about the Lepresti seals underneath the wing. So we have the flap gap seals, which basically as the flaps operate, the back of the flaps are angled like that, right, with the hinge. So as it closes to level, there's a gap between the back of the wing, uh, the back of the airfoil and the flap. And the flap gap seals literally just go underneath and seal that gap, basically el eliminating turbulence under the wing and helping keep the airflow uh, steady under the wing, which helps a lot with uh, speed and also climb performance. So those are two areas that we see improvements from the flap gap seals. The other thing um, that is underneath the wing there are the uh, flap track fairings and what those do is basically the draggy metal brackets that are the flap tracks um, on these Hershey bar wings are covered up by fairings which basically again help eliminate any little parasitic drags that you might have on the plane. Alright so now that we're back at the front of the wing we can talk about these things that you've seen on the 
front of the wings for a while and a few people have asked questions about those. So those are actually fairings for the fuel tanks. So basically where the fuel tanks bolt in here or screw in, there are lots of little screw holes um, sticking up all along there. And these basically cover those up and eliminate some of the drag that those cause, some of the turbulence that they cause. I'm not sure exactly how much of an improvement they really make, probably not a whole lot. I think they look cool, um, and it definitely changes the, the look of the wing compared to the stock Cherokee. So next, um, let's go up here and talk about the windshield. So probably the biggest thing that people think about when they think about the Cherokees is that split windshield. They have the metal bar going up there. This plane had that taken off, and they went to a one-piece windshield, sort of like the Malibus, and it's a thicker windshield, and when you put the Lepresti Howl Cowl on, it also has this fairing that goes up along the windshield to help with aerodynamics. So the entire slope of the windshield has changed. It's one piece for aerodynamics, and the fairing up here also helps with the aerodynamics as the air enters the windshield and kind of goes over the plane. All right, so the very last piece of speed mods that we're gonna talk about here that we have on the plane are actually not on the plane right now, and those would be the wheel pants. So as some of you may have guessed, those are off because Josh just started up his training for his private pilot's license in the Cherokee 6. People were asking if you could train in uh, Cherokee 6 for your private pilot's license, and the answer is absolutely yes. This plane will teach you super great piloting skills, something that a Cessna 150 uh, definitely can't. Not that it's a not a good plane, it's just, um, it's just this is a lot more plain and when you can fly this, you can fly a whole lot of different stuff. Josh started up his training in this. He's got a few, light, uh, few lessons under his belt. He's doing super, super well. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video and are enjoying watching this journey that we're going on with Zero Five Bravo. We hope that it, um, that it can sort of bring you into the aviation community and that you get some enjoyment out of it. So we hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.